Hello, hello, I am the official name raider. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today we're looking at Scun- ugh, Stunfisk, I almost said skunk, and Scun- Fuck! Stunfisk has a Galarian version as well. As well, I can't speak. Did you remember that? Because I didn't remember that. When I mentioned the Unova trailer, I only mentioned Darmanitan. I forgot that Stunfisk also has a Galarian form, but it's okay. We don't have any comment suggestions anyway, so it's not like we missed out on anything. Okay, so Mud Pancake did actually make me like... I don't know, what you call it where you laugh, but it's not really a laugh. It's just like, you keep your mouth closed and you kind of do a, a, a response, like you, you exhale in a laughing manner. I did that. But rather than Mud Pancake, just Pancake by itself is fine, because food-based nicknames are fine. Is it the best? I mean, no, but it made me laugh for some stupid reason. Or just Flapjack! There's another one! I'm gonna acknowledge, well, I, I don't care for Bro-tato chip, but Potato chip is another food if you want to use that. You know, most of the time when I stumble across this Tumblr, it's usually so void of personality that you wouldn't think a human wrote it. As for this one, it actually seems like they tried being zany and funny when they did it. So, I want to talk about Flounder just because he put it on there twice and then move on to the next one. I've seen Voltaire at least three or four times. I understand what we're going for. High electric plus ground. Do you get it? But considering how many times we've just seen Voltaire as a nickname, it makes it so meaningless in comparison that this doesn't stand out in the slightest. When you have... A thousand people using up something very similar and then you're like well what if I try and make this and it's like oh but it's too it's too late it's compared to this thing that's already immensely overused to begin with it just it falls flat and then Tesla just for that fucking generic electric type nickname counter we got going on market on the bingo card mark Tesla on the bingo card whoops all Tesla's you know, I feel like instead of nicknaming the Stunfisk the worst, we could probably nickname him the worst because he is the worst. Only The only person I think is actually worse than this guy is Hayden on Twitter. So the worst, uh, I mean, it's not exactly a good nickname, but at the same time, a part of me is like, but Metal Gear Solid. And I'm like, okay, but I still wouldn't nickname anything the worst. I wouldn't do that. Paraflat's stupid. Shock Squash is stupid. Creepster, another name he decided to name after himself. Also a terrible nickname for a Pokemon. And then Panny, which is fucking stupid. This is also probably the happiest I've ever seen Stunfisk in any piece of art ever. Now let's tag team these two real quick. So James Pond, I'm 100% okay with as a nickname. I just don't think it fits Stunfisk. I think you're going to see this more with... Inteleon than anyone else because I mean duh and then sashimi is another food based nickname I mean I don't necessarily have a problem with it my my thought just kind of comes down to like well I don't think stunfisk could resemble sashimi even if it tried you'd have to get you'd have to roll that bitch all the way up and even then is that gonna work so <laughs> that that's that's semantics it, it doesn't really matter but as a nickname it's totally fine swim shady I think I would prefer that on Sharpedo. Just saying. And then I guess since it's right here, Flip Flop. I don't necessarily mind that. I just, I don't know. I never even like the name Flip Flops just in real life. Real quick though, if you wanna just look through a lot of pun nicknames, this one actually has a surprising amount. Like none of a bubble fit. There's one. And then we saw Swim Shady, Guppy Goldberg, Gil Clinton, Genghis Carp. Anchovy. Just a surprising amount of puns in there, that's all. Okay, so we looked through and we saw everything on regular Stunfisk. We didn't really see too much about Galarian by itself, so we'll see if adding Galarian changes the results any and what we can find with that. Cool, so the uh, results didn't really change worth a damn. You had this, which honest to god, I still don't understand how TV tropes works when I looked at it it was just like what about the legendary birds I'm like that's not a nickname but okay and then Amino which didn't have anything worth a damn either so I'm not gonna lie I was having a tiny bit more hopes on maybe it's something to look at for Galarian Stunfisk but but we didn't really find anything so Galarian Stunfisk nicknames oh I did not say the name right did I 
Zero, zero names for Galarian Stunfisk. No nicknames to that. The only one that I think was even worth a damn was Pet and Cake and Flapjack. And between the two, I don't know. I kind of just like Flapjack better as a nickname. I know there was some third name because I know we talked about Pancakes Flapjacks before for some other Pokemon. I don't remember what, but I want to say there was three different names for Pancakes and I can't quite remember what the third one was. Sashimi is probably the next best one. But anyway, I'm not necessarily surprised, I guess, that Sunfist sucked, but at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I still worry about when we get to Alola and Galar, how these episodes are going to turn out. So anyway, enough worrying about things we don't have control over. Provide your ideas and suggestions in the comments below for Stunfisk and Galarian Stunfisk. When you do so, be sure to include which variant you're talking about. I don't necessarily think you're going to be able to get away with both, considering one is flat and one is pointy. So, Pancake's not going to fit. Galarian Stunfisk, in my opinion. I don't think you can do Pancake and Flapjack. I don't know. I, I, I think one is more of... I mean, they're both ouchies, but different kind of ouchies. Nicknames, thumbs ups. The beginning of Resident Evil 4 actually scared me because of the bear traps. That's like the only thing in Resident Evil 4 that would actually scare me is because I wouldn't know where they were and it would hurt me.